Howdy folks, guys and gals, whoever's watching, it's me again, Christopher, back with another quick video. Um, this is going to be another little pickups video and uh, a chat about certain things. Um, kicks, sex, how we pronounce it. Um, the controversy with that, that I didn't know much about because I don't really go to kicks, sex, how you pronounce it, I don't know. Um, I don't go there, I don't buy stuff from them, I don't sell stuff to them. Um, I've just never been interested in them to be honest. Um, and Granger Games, that closing down. Um, I have never been in a town where there has been a Granger Games around, so again, um, I know nothing of them, um, I have never shot with them, bought with them, uh, bought from them, sorry, um, I think I might have bought from them online one time, maybe actually, maybe not, I can't remember to be honest, um, but yeah, talk a wee bit about that as well, uh, maybe Toys R Us as well, so. Anyway, this is about pickups. Um, I was 40 the other day, 31st of March. Happy birthday to me, getting old. Look at um, Feel it as well. Feel like I'm fucking 80. Um, pains and Christ knows what all over the place. Um, here we go, I'm starting to moan. This is not a morning video anyway. I'll stop right there before I go from one. Um, but anyway, turned 40 the other day. Got presents, mostly cash. But um, here's a few gaming presents that I got from my mate. Um, he sent them. Uh, I have not put the stickers on this yet because I'm not sure if they'll stay on once you make a cup of tea. Um, probably fucking melt off or something. Um, but it does look cool. Um, the quality of the stickers isn't that great, but um, yeah, for what it is, it's quite neat. Um, I'll keep the cup and keep the box and keep it in my collection. But anyway, that is it. Nothing special. A little Mario mug. Um, I'll get a cut of all of them. Um, so let's build your own. Well, not build your own mug, stick your own sticker, build your own level, I suppose, if you call it. So, that was that. He sent me that. And next, he sent me this as well, to go with it. It's pretty cool. Uh, 3D, lenticular, coasters. Um, there are eight different ones in the pack. Yeah, they are quite neat. Oh, he sent me those. Those. There's all the different ones you get. That fucking thing's horrible looking at me. Making it worse. Anyway, that's what he sent me. This mug, that mug, sorry, and the uh, Mario coasters. Um, no one else sent me gaming stuff. Um, fucking Instagram things keep popping up in this. Um, so, uh, that was that for my 40th, um, but before that, a couple of days before that, um, I bought a few things on eBay, um, these things, I've been looking at these for a while, the price has been not too bad for them, um, but I just held off because I knew I wasn't going to play them anytime soon, but I want them in my collection before the price goes up higher than what it is at the moment. Um, I can only imagine the, the price of them will go up. Um, I'm very popular on Instagram this morning. This afternoon, sorry. Fucking things keep popping up. Um, yeah, so, popped on these two. Bought them from the same person. Really good condition. Zelda Phantom Hourglass and Zelda Spirit Tracks. Um, they're probably not the best Zelda games because... Well, especially Spirit Tracks because it's quite linear and you're on a, tra a, a railway, a, a train. So, 
I don't. I've, I haven't played it. I watched, as I said in the previous video, my ex girlfriend played them. Um, I seen her. I watched her play them for a while. Um, doesn't really like what's that one much. That one looks a bit better, but I don't know. Give me your opinion on them. Have you played them? Um, what do you think's best? Better? Uh, if you like them at all. And fucking Instagram stuff keeps popping up. I can't see. Right. Anyway, that's those two. Oh, that's all. Add to my very small um, Zelda collection. Zelda collection, very small DS collection, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I'll maybe get around to playing them sometime, but not, not any time soon, probably. But anyway, here's another thing I bought uh, uh, from eBay Club Nintendo. I did have this before, um, but I sold it. I bought it and sold it, made a bit of money on it. Uh, I saw it on eBay for thirty four ninety nine plus postage um, on eBay the other day, and I thought that's quite low for that. It usually goes for at least seventy eighty. So I thought I'll get that and add it to my collection for now. I don't want it because um, it's not the greatest looking thing, but it's it's quite cool. Um, I'll do what I did with it before, make a bit of money on it, and that pays for. Some games or whatever, so um, don't jump on me for doing that because everybody does it. Who cares? Um, capitalism at its best. <laughs> anyway, it's Majora's Mask Light. Um, it's quite neat. It's a new box, new seal, and whatnot. So, um, as I said, I might keep it in my collection, but it doesn't look. It looks quite cool, what art, but. It's just because I've not got much space, but um, I might be one of those things just to buy, to sell, to make a bit of money for extra games, type of thing. I don't do it that often, but just once in a blue moon, but anyway, that's that. Um, but yeah, that's my pickups. Um, not much. Um, what I've been playing, still Donkey Kong, um, still enjoying that. Um, but my golf, I was in playing my arcade machine yesterday. Um, I found a little game called uh, shit. What's it called? Yeah? Tumble pop or something like that. Tumble pop. You're like a, a little guy there. It's like a Ghostbuster machine. Um, you, sh you suck the, the bad guys in, and you can shoot them out and pop them. And they bounce about, and you collect coins and stuff like that. It's just like a a level on one screen, you don't move across the screen like a platform game or anything like that. Um, so you've got to get all the enemies and do that. And you, I think you do five levels per country. It's like Russia, Britain, America and all that kind of thing. Um, and there's a bad guy at the end of each level. Uh, so I think I did three levels of that yesterday. I enjoyed it. It's quite a fun wee game. Um, it's quite simple, but um, yeah, not too bad. Um, I played a couple of other ones, but I can't remember them. I enjoyed that. I haven't played my arcade machine for a while, so I made use of it and played it for a little while. But um, other than that, I've not been playing much. Um, oh, I heard Wipeout, uh, if you've got it for the PlayStation 4. Um, if you've got VR, if you go on, the, um, the game's free, the virtual reality um, download is free. So you can play that. I meant to do it on Friday, um, but uh, I didn't get around to it. Um, so I might do that today at some point and give it a try. But um, that should be awesome, uh, playing vir uh, Wipeout and Virtual Rally. Uh, so I'll give that a go maybe later on. Because um, I haven't played my PlayStation 4 for Christ knows how long. So I need to start doing that and um, play something else maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, other than that, not much. Not played much. Mm. Can't think anyway. No. But anyway, up next we shall talk about kex, sex. Let's talk sex uh, for a little while. Um, I know a lot of people are in uproar about them um, making their own cases and cover art I think it's sometimes as well um, for 
games that they've got. Um, a lot of people are saying it's uh, fraudulent, a lot of them it's um, deceitful. Um, because obviously a lot of people won't know the difference between a, a cover and a, a normal case and whatnot. not. Um, but uh, I have never bought from Kex, as I said before, and I've been in loads of times because I usually get in one in Glasgow, there's two in Glasgow actually, there's one in Chorley, I usually go uh, pop into that sometimes. Uh, my little cousin, he likes to get in them, so I get in there with him. Um, he buys some sometimes from them, but I don't because they're too expensive and I know I can get the games elsewhere. But yeah, I'm going off track. Um, a lot of people are going up, up rolling about cases. Um, well, I've got one that is from Kex that I got online from an eBay seller with a bundle. I didn't know at the time what it was, but I, would, I didn't care after it because it was a good deal still. But anyway, this is the difference between a Kex case and a, a original 3D, 3DS case. Um, you can c c tell the difference in the thickness. Um, it's thinner than a. It's not much difference, but it is thinner. I can't, can't really show you there. But um, maybe see it from a distance. You can see it's thinner than that. Um, but when you open it up, I think it's the original, no it isn't the original cover that I'm going to talk about, it's not the original cover that, um, you can tell the prints, it prints alright but it's, you can tell it's not original, um, but obviously you can definitely tell because it says Kex on the inside, but you can hardly see it unless you pull it out, so a lot of people are, that's it. Um, a lot of people go into Kex and buy these games thinking it's an original cover or original box and whatnot. And obviously it's an original game, they're not going to sell fucking fake games, but um, yeah. A lot of people don't like the fact that they're doing that, but I'm indifferent to it, I don't care. Um, people that play games should know that um, the difference between a, a fake case and an original case to cover up. Um, and if you look at it, open it up, I know in Kex they don't keep the games in the boxes so there's no point in opening it up and you, won't be, you wouldn't be able to see that because who's going to open the box up? Um, so maybe they should have a sticker, oh, sticker on the front saying uh, that it's not the original cover art um, and not the original case so that people know what they're buying and that they're getting the original game obviously. But... Um, with the original, you can tell me how they, the difference between an original and a fake. Uh, but obviously, mums and dads buying for their kids won't wouldn't know the difference. So if they bought it and took it home to their kids or whoever for bought it for a present, and then the person that um, they bought it for obviously knows all about the games. They look at it and say, oh, "That's a fake. That's not real." Um, and then we're a bit pissed off at that kind of thing. So in that way, um, it's not good. But if you know what you're buying and you're a, a gamer, you obviously know the difference, so it shouldn't bother you that much. Uh, but yeah, that's my point of view on it. And I don't buy it kick, so I know it, um, I can get things cheaper elsewhere. And uh, I do appreciate them being there, because they are selling games to people. Uh, they're keeping the hobby going for people, even though they're expensive. Um, well, that's people's choice. Do they spend their money? How do they spend their money? And if they want to spend it in kegs, well, more power to them. But it's not my um, first choice when I'm going to buy something. It's probably my last place I would go. Uh, but anyway, other than that, that's my point of view on it. But um, I have Granger Games closed down as well. Um, I've never seen a Granger Games in my life. I don't know any. Uh, I've never seen any in Glasgow. I've never seen any in Preston, the big towns I'm mainly in. Um, so, I, I've never shopped with them, so I'm not going to miss them. But I know a lot of people are going to miss them. Um, I don't know what the prices are like and trade in value and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if it's good that way. Yeah, it's a shame it's another gaming company gone. Um, they'll probably still sell online. Um, 
much, you know, I imagine they'll still be around in some form. Um, same with Toys R Us shutting down. Um, I was never a Toys R Us kid uh, when I was young. Um, maybe popped in once in a blue moon, but didn't buy much because um, it was a pretty expensive place, and mom and dad bought my stuff from Argos mainly when we were getting toys for Christmas and things like that. Um, sometimes you've got Woolworths and all those kind of places, but uh, it was hard really go to be a Toys R Us, but so. Uh, I'm not a girl going to miss them, but I do. The only thing I enjoyed was adverts at Christmas time with um, Giraffe, whatever his name is. I can't remember what the fuck his name But yeah, um, I did I did like that advert when I was a kid. It just made you think of Christmas and yeah, got you in the mood. So yeah, it's a shame about them as well, but they'll be around online, I'd imagine, as well. So um, I think you'll be able to still buy. I think um if you I don't know if they're still on just now, um if you if they're any close by to you they'll probably be selling other stuff cheap. I think I've seen a few people online saying that they've went and bought a lot of stuff cheap but I'm not exactly sure when the the they're shutting down all their stores but yeah maybe worth a try going in and getting yourself some bargains but I don't know. But yeah that's uh, that's that as well. Well um what else are we going to talk about? I can't remember. No, I think that's it. Um, but other than that, I've not been up to much. Uh, I got up to Glasgow on Friday, meet my family and friends on Saturday for my birthday do. Came out in Glasgow, probably hung over on a Sunday. Uh, I want to go see Ready Player One on Sunday, so I'll see that on Sunday. It looks cool. Um, I listened to the audio book, I got three quarters of the way through it and I stopped and I haven't gone back to it. But yeah, what I listened to an audio book was quite cool. It was um what's his name? Well Wheaton that did it. So that was quite neat. Um But yeah, that's my plans for the week this weekend coming. Friday I'll get to the hotel, just conk out, wake up the next day, meet the family and whatnot, have some drinks and food and whatnot and then pfft, Probably hit a club later on. Too old for this shit. Danny Glover, at his best. What is it he says? I'm too old for this. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, that's our plans for that. But yeah, um, I mentioned the last time I was running out of space. Uh, bought my shelf, so I haven't bought any shelves. Oh, sorry, I'm mm. um, I haven't bought any shelves or anything like that, but I have rearranged. Um, organised it a bit better, so I'll give you a quick fly through that. Um, ah, crap, my knee's cracked on top of that. Shit. Oh, I need a fucking seat. Anyway, here it is. Um, Organised that, get rid of all the stuff that was bloody in there. Um, took out the stuff that was in there as well. Um, that's a bit better. Just need to take these out. I'm going to send that to my little cousin. Yeah. Yeah, what cousin that one if you can put a light in there, Mario stuff in here, controllers and whatnot. Um Vita, PlayStation 4 games, and more PlayStation stuff organised a bit better. Um this dimension thing I got I sold, so I'm gonna post that. That's for my little niece. Send these games to my mum. I'll create some space down here. Uh, so this thing is what I'm doing my last game. Um, this is all my shit that I'm still selling. Oh yeah, supposedly a guy. Um, I've been messaging him for a while. He's coming sometime this week for a Mario Kart 8 Wii U console in the game. And he swapped me for a Super Nintendo with about 20 games. So hopefully that comes out. Alright, and uh, hang on. I'll do a video on that. So, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, this is all my shit that I'm selling, apart from the first master. Um, I put one of those boxes up there, the Wii U box, um, to create more space on my shelves. So, there we go. My very small Switch collection. 
at the top, put my books along next to it. I've organised these a bit better. Oh, I think that looks neat. That's cool. Alright. And my 3DS stuff. It's a bit neater looking. My Wii stuff. It's a bit neater looking as well. My small DS collection. These back up. And this is all my Club Nintendo stuff and my statues and stuff like that. Um, so I just shoved them down there for now. I'll probably move them somewhere if I get another game collection going of some sort. I don't know what. Um, probably 64. I was never a big GameCube fan, so I've not really. I'm not, I don't think I'll collect for the GameCube. And I'll probably go for this in the 64 next if I want that. Um, to add to the space down there. But yeah, <laughs> it's not too bad. Getting there. But I still want to add some shelf space up there somewhere. But, yeah, that's that. Um, I shall end the video. Um, like that, I think. I don't think I've got enough to say. So I'll need a fucking haircut. This hair's getting out of control. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'll end it there. As usual, hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all well. Um, having fun. Had a good Easter holiday. Um, and I shall catch you next time. See you later.